I know a lot of people don't trust the real real. I was one of them. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Kate Swan. If you're new here, I like to talk about luxury handbags, shoes, accessories, all sorts of things like that. So if you're into that kind of thing, feel free to come and join our luxury family and subscribe. I am back in my office again. Uh, this is my second time filming in here and I'm kind of liking it. This might be like my new filming spot if all goes well. I think that the last video came out good. I think I might keep doing this. So you might be seeing this background quite a bit. Um, I'm really excited though because we're doing an unboxing and I am going to have like a few more unboxings like early on in the year and then I probably won't have really anything for the rest of the year. So basically what I did was I sold a bunch of bags. I sold most of my collection um, and then I bought some new things. So now I'm bringing in a few new pieces. A lot of these are going to be like more classic pieces and not like more trendier items. But let's go ahead and get into what's in this box and then we can chat after that. I have not opened this. I did cut the box, like the cut the sides and like cut the middle a little bit to make it easier to open on camera, but I have not opened this yet. All right, so as you might recognize, this is not from Fashion File. This is actually from The Real Real. Um, my last purchase was also from The Real Real, and I've seen that they've had some pretty good prices. Um, I know a lot of people don't trust The Real Real. I was one of them. Um, <laughs> I got my last piece from them, Authenticated, which was my Birkin 25, and everything checked out, everything worked out well, and I plan on probably doing the same thing with this one. Um, but let me show you what it is first. <laughs> okay, I had to get rid of the box. My office is not very big. It is small in here, okay? <laughs> So I have this, we have the Hermes dust bag and I'll probably put what it is in the title. So you know what, let's just go ahead and do it. <laughs> I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, I'm glad I waited to open this on camera. Okay, here it is. Ta-da, it is a Kelly, it's a Kelly 32 um, in black in Swift leather. If you've seen some of my other videos, I say a lot that Swift Leather and Clemence Leather are my two favorites. I love the slouchy smushiness. I love when like a Birkin or Kelly is just smushy and buttery and soft. Like I love that. I don't know why they decided to put the lock on the bag because now I need to take the lock off in order to get into the bag. Um, so let me just go ahead and do that and like take off the little like packaging and stuff like that and I'll be right back. Okay, I finally got everything off. Like that took a while. Um, it was a bit of a struggle. They really, they really taped this thing up, let me tell you. Um, but I have the bag open now. They stuffed it when they shipped it, which is great. I'm going to take this out. And of course, we'll be saving those like air bubble thingies to put back in here. Bubble wrap. <laughs> I don't know why I called it that. It's just bubble wrap. This bag needs to be cleaned. <laughs> um, but like I mentioned, this is a Kelly 32. So I have had a Kelly 32 before. It's actually one of the bags that I sold. I had a bright blue, blue electric um, Kelly 32 in Togo leather and it was absolutely beautiful. It was in excellent condition and that's why I never used it. I never used that bag. I used it like twice since I had it and I had it for like well over a year before I sold it. And I just never used it because it was in such beautiful condition. I didn't want anything to happen to it. It was like my baby. It was the most beautiful bag and i loved it so much and like the the hardware barely had me scratching on it everything was like perfect about that bag and that's that's why i never used it that's why i sold it like i couldn't get myself to use it enough to justify keeping it it had to go and i'm i'm always gonna miss it but it had to go and so it's time for me to get a kelly 32 because i really liked the size but something that was slouchier something that was you know more worn in look at that look at that she's got she's got no shape I just love it. <laughs> I am going to put a bag insert inside of this. Um, I ordered one from Mai Tai. I mentioned Mai Tai a lot. Um, that's my favorite place to get organizers from. I just like how like soft and smushy they are. Once again, I just like I want to just be able to hug the bag. Like I, it's so cute. This needs to be clean. So that's kind of gross. Um, but yeah, I'm going to take one of those like 99% water baby wipes to this thing after and we will get that cleaned up. Um, one thing was I was kind of thinking I wanted to use this bag um, in addition to everyday, because I like larger bags and I feel like the 32 is like a good medium to large size. Um, and I wanted to try to use this for like everyday, but also for some travel. So I think it'll be fun to use this when traveling. I kind of still want a 35. Um, I either want to get another Birkin 35, which I don't have any Birkin 35s anymore, but it's one of my favorite bags, but I sold them <laughs> and I sold them to get other bags and to try out other things. And now I know that that's something that I really like. So I kind of want to get a Birkin 40 actually or like a Kelly 35 or a Birkin 35, like one, one of the three. 
um, just like to actually have for like when I need to carry things when traveling. I don't travel a ton, um, so I really don't need more than one bag to do that. I'm not the biggest like fan of traveling. I don't like flying. I I like being at home, <laughs> um, but I also want to experience things. So of course I do it, but and sometimes you have to, so I do it. But um, yeah, I'm not like the biggest, like I, I don't travel very often, so it's not like a huge priority for me. So I wanted to prioritize getting something that was every day, plus I can probably use this when I go places, um, especially because I'm not gonna be as worried about it getting scratched, scratching the leather. There's already scratches on the leather. Like that is amazing. Also, I feel like the black Kelly in Swift leather gives you the pluses of having box leather. Well, to some people, the pluses of having box leather is that it stays pretty sturdy. Um, but since I like slouchier, it, the plus is that like, it's like box leather, but it's slouchy and soft. <laughs> so you get to still see that there are like faint scratches on it. Um, there's not very like deep scratches on this bag or anything. Well, there's some, there's some deep, there's some, like some deeper scratches on the back, but, um, I think that just overall, like, it looks like a nice, like, worn-in bag, especially once I put some stuff back in it. I think I'm going to put the, the, um, god, I don't know why I keep forgetting the name of it, the bubble wrap back in here. Okay, so I just stuffed it with the bubble wrap just to show you guys, like, kind of what it'll look like when you're carrying it. Um, and I'm going to pull the singles down a little bit. There we go. This, this is what she looks like. I, I'm so excited. Um, I know that in the past, like, some of my favorite bags have been the Birkin 35, the Chanel Jumbo. Um, really like larger type of bags where I can fit everything that I want in them. Lately I've been carrying smaller bags. My Birkin 25 has been my most used bag recently. Um, and that's because I just don't carry as much anymore, but I would like to have a bag that I can put a good amount of stuff in if I'm going somewhere. So like I still have that need in my life, um, for at least one of those. So right now it's this one and then maybe in the future I'll need something that's like a little bit bigger. Like I said, like the Birkin 35, the, the Kelly 35 or like a Birkin 40 or something. Um, that's still on the list, but for right now, this is exactly what I need. Something I can fit my iPad, my books, like anything that I want to take with me um, on like a longer type of day when I'm going out. It's this one right here. So I'm super excited about that. I was specifically looking for a black Kelly 32 with palladium hardware. Um, I know that a lot of people like gold hardware. I am a, I've like recently discovered that <laughs> I love and will wear palladium hardware more than I'll wear gold gold hardware. Um, and I like the way that gold looks better on bags, I think, but I think that I like how like chic and younger, at least a little bit younger. I know these look like, I know a lot of people say these look like old lady bags and they kind of do, but like <laughs> I still love them. But yeah, I think it makes it look a little bit younger when you have the um, palladium hardware. It's like a little bit more chic and I like that a lot. I've noticed that it goes with my more casual outfits a lot better and I tend to uh, lean toward athleisure wear and I feel like it goes a lot better with that than the gold hardware does. Like I mentioned, I purchased this off the Real Real. Um, one of my most recent bag purchases was also from the Real Real and that was my Birkin 25. Um, which I'm absolutely obsessed with. I love it so much and I use it all the time and I was a little bit nervous about purchasing from the real real when I got that bag So I did have it authenticated everything checked out I went through Baba Bebby to do the authentication and I'll add the link down below if you want to take a look And if you want to have any of your MRAS bags authenticated Definitely definitely recommend she's super fast and yeah, it was just a great experience altogether So I might end up doing the same thing with this bag. I feel like the fee to authenticate it is totally worth it um, especially because you're paying so much money for a bag. Despite all of the authentication stuff, like in the added need to feel like I need to authenticate when I purchase from the real real, they got some good prices. I said this in my last video, they got some good prices and this was a good price, okay? Especially for like a classic color, the hardware that I wanted, the size that I wanted, the leather that I love. This was an excellent price. Um, I like looked at all of the pre-loved websites for this exact bag. Um, or the same thing, but in Togo leather, because I was open to that too, or Clemence leather. Like, I, you know, I just really wanted to be black with silver hardware <laughs> um, and in the size that I wanted. So I looked all over. Um, I was really into compromise with leathers and I, this was the best deal that I found. So I don't think that that's surprising. It's not like it's going to be in pristine condition, which is not what I wanted. I wanted something that was a little bit worn in, so I'll actually use it. Sorry if I'm kind of all over the place. I'm just really excited and I can't wait to go and clean this bag off. It did come with the lock and keys, by the way. I also don't have a ton of time to film this, so I'm probably talking pretty fast and 
Um, honestly, I'm just gonna wrap it up here. Really, I just wanted to show you the new bag. I'm super excited about it. I was ready to wear it. Um, I'm gonna go clean it off. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel if you wanna see more videos like this one. Also, if you wanna follow me on Instagram, I will put my Instagram on the screen. It's Kate Swan, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye, guys.